people yes it's another day a beautiful day another time for us to spend together on this um great and exciting program fashion i know you love the show i love it too <laughs> anyways i'm happy because it gives me another opportunity of spending time with you on the show i'm your fashionista a boogie and this is fashion trend on itv now the nigerian fashion scene has gone Wow, like both local and international, it has gone crazy. Everyone is fashion crazy, everyone is going fashion gaga, everyone wants to be their own designer. Yeah, okay, so that's like today. We will be having a chat with a very, very beautiful fashion designer. She is going to be pushing play to some of the questions that we've got. And um, let me also um, acknowledge some of our viewers who sent me um, questions right across the country. So we are going to be chatting with a fashion designer who's going to be giving us answers, okay? Yeah. Also, we will take the Who Wore It Better segment. Trust me, the show is fun filled. Do remember, we are transmitting live from Abuja. Yes, fashion trend is in Abuja. Can you beat that? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe the next edition might just be in your neighborhood. So keep your eyes open. All right. Okay, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm Avogi. I'm your fashionista. I will be right back. Okay, I hope you actually enjoyed that little piece that we put in there for you. I know you did. Trust me on Fashion Trend. We have your interests at heart. Now, so we be. Okay, we are actually transmitting live, yeah, from Abuja. Hmm, I'm wondering, Abuja? Who knows? I might be in your neighborhood next week, yeah. But today, we want to be pushing answers to the questions that we've got from our viewers right across the country. And who else can do that but to get a fashion designer in the house to actually, you know, give us her own version of the questions that you have sent via our social media. And I'm wondering, where is she? Because I'm not supposed to be alone. Oh, hey! Good gorgeous baby. Thanks, How are darling. you? Thank you so much. I'm good. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Maureen Chima. Yeah. I'm the CEO of Mollux Limited in Abuja. Abuja. I must yeah. say, you actually look stunning. Thank you. Oh, and Thank I you. like that. Yeah, you know, African for life, yeah? Definitely. Probably Nigerian. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, now, yeah. this is fashion trend on ITV. Yeah. Okay. And we want to ask you, being a fashion designer, a renowned fashion designer, a seasoned fashion designer, a creative fashion designer, <laughs> Okay, what is fashion to you? Well, to me, fashion is everything. Fashion is the way of life. Fashion is everything in the sense that you can portray fashion with the way you feel, right? The way you want to look like, the person you want to be. And I think that's very unique, you know, using one thing to portray a whole lot of stuff you want to achieve, you know, for yourself. Okay, so let me ask you, what inspired your interest in fashion? Mm -hmm. what, what, what actually gave you that inspiration? Yeah, okay. Uh, I studied theater art in school, okay. and I majored in t um, costume and makeup. So after school, I went to learn uh, makeup. And I thought that was where my passion would be. Since I studied costume and makeup, I felt, okay, let me take the makeup part because I did a lot of stage uh, makeup, character makeup and all that. So, I started doing the makeup, but I felt it was not complete. So, I went further to study design as a course. And it took me a while. At the end of the day, I decided to have my own brand. Okay. You know, yeah. Okay, so is is that when you decided to make a career out of it? Oh yes. While going to the fashion school, mm -hmm. I just found myself loving it more than even the makeup I learned. Don't get me wrong, I love makeup. I love to look good, but the the whole idea of fashion you know the fact that I can put pieces together and make something really beautiful you know that got me so interested about um, fashion okay 
So that means you actually went to a fashion school. Oh yes, I did. Okay, I did. In fact, I don't think anybody can be a proper designer without going through training. I don't think you can be a lawyer or a doctor without going to school. Yeah. So you have to really um, get yourself prepared for what you're going into. Yeah. And I think going to fashion school, what I the idea I had about fashion really, really changed because it taught me a lot about fabrics, taught me a lot about um, texture, fabric texture, designs, things to do, you know, um, plus sizes. Um, small sizes, large, and all that. They taught me a lot of, you know, how to sketch, how to, yeah, a whole lot. I can okay. go on and on. And okay, that. now, now, this show is actually for our viewers watching, you know, who love fashion, yeah. who want to be involved with the latest trend. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, let's talk about trend. What do you think actually should be called trendy? When you see someone dressed, how would you say? That person is trendy. What 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 do you use as your own clarification to say someone is trendy? Okay, for me, I create designs, right? I'm a creative designer, and I normally bring out my own designs every maybe two months, three months, depending on how fast we can produce, right? Mm. So for me, I think your creativity is your trend. Yeah, what you can imagine in your mind and put it out as a as an outfit is your trend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your uniqueness. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody has their own uniqueness. You can take it to be um, t-shirts, just as simple as t-shirts. Yeah. But the way you um, pull it out is your trend. You know, really things that are easy. You know, have this off shoulder clothes. Yeah, that's that actually really what's involved right oh, now. Oh yeah, something um, cold shoulders, cold shoulders are stuff like this. You okay, know, that's cold shoulders. Yeah, with the hole. Yeah, something. Yeah. So things like that are really in vogue now, and a lot of people want to use African prints, no matter how you want to use the contemporary. Um, fabric, mm. but it also wanted to put a touch of African in it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Okay. All right, people, don't get it twisted. It is fashion trend. This is the only show where we talk about fashion, you know, and you get to see good creative fashion designers. Yeah. Okay. We'll take a breather right now. Let's check out the fashion trend video of the week, and we'll be right back to talk more with Maureen Chima. Okay. Yeah. Just stick around.
enjoy a segale a regional ambassador with the fastest growing luxury brand worldwide fashion is everything and you want to look good come on board this is fashion trends okay people welcome back from that video i hope you enjoyed it you know it's also for your relaxation it is fashion trend come on i'm your fashionista Ava again and we are actually talking to the ceo more looks maureen chima pretty girl trust me all right now well um, we um had so many um, messages on our social media from our viewers across the country and they had so many questions so she being a fashion designer i think she's even in the best position to give us the answer so um my dear i have a question for you number one because i had to save them um this one says is there a dress that i can wear while i am nursing okay because so many people women especially have asked me these questions they want something that still looks good even though they're nursing they don't want to be left out like oh she's pregnant so is there a, a dress that i can wear while i'm nursing okay. and even when i'm pregnant also okay. is there a particular dress that i can wear yeah. that will still make me look cute even mm -hmm. while being pregnant sure okay. well gone are the days where you have to wear Kaftan or whatever, just boo -boo. because boo -boo. just because you're pregnant, yeah. you know, like you're hiding the pregnancy. No, you should be proud of your pregnancy, mm -hmm. right? So we have designs like something a little bit fitted here, then a little bit flare here, so we can put like a dart here that will free it up here for you for the tummy to like really contain, right? Then for a nursing mom. Because it's really inconveniencing when you have to do all button down yeah, dress yeah. and you're in public place and you have to breastfeed, breastfeed your baby. baby. So we have clothes like um, the strap. Maybe we can put a button here. So when you're there, you can just take it out and breastfeed your child. Okay. Or we can also do like a zip up here where you can open up. And okay. Or you can do a zip front mm. where you just zip down and take um, breastfeed your child okay. so there are some really convenient um, clothes mm -hmm. outfits that mm -hmm. we put together and we put pregnant women we put um, breastfeeding moms we put a lot of people into consideration when we're making our clothes okay so now sometimes you know when a woman is nursing the baby actually fits on all of our body and all that it can be very embarrassing at times mm -hmm. when you have to clean and all that so the question is what color do you think is most appropriate do you understand to always wear as a nursing mother because of the speed the baby can have like what color do you think is nice that yeah. even when she cleans it off it will not be obvious yeah what kind of color do you well, think well you just avoid colors like white because obviously any stain that comes on white just stays no matter how much you clean it it still stays but um, colors like black well some of them will be like they sweat a lot or whatever you bring down dull colors maybe um, red um, maroon red brown colors like that help hide um, stains so yeah okay so let's talk about how to choose good clothes you're a fashion designer this is your field yeah. really so what would you say is one of the um, things that one should look for when you want to choose good clothes okay for me um, what inspired me to choose a fabric is actually a fabric to make a coat is actually um, first of all the style I want to make um, the person I'm making it for okay. because some people are very Cons um, conservative um, so the person I'm making it for uh, the color that the person likes I have to put that into consideration as well also I put into consideration the weather okay. because sometimes um, if you make a cloth that is very thick no matter how beautiful that cloth is that person is going very very uncomfortable in it mm. Yeah, so that's what I put into consideration when choosing a fabric. Let's talk about dressing for your figure. Like, okay. there are some plus size ladies, a lot of plus size ladies, okay. and some slim ones. Mm -hmm. You know, so dressing for your figure, what do you think they should put into consideration? Well, being a plus size is not a crime or 
whatever everybody wants to go slim and everything sometimes you can't even go slim right so you're stuck there but that doesn't mean um, you can't have good clothes you can wear good clothes um, I, I call you guys the bold and beautiful yeah yeah because you are there and everybody can notice you <laughs> but then um, when you are choosing your clothes I think the first thing you should look out for is the color of the clothes there are some stripes that make actually make you look bigger the way the stripe is placed there are some colors that actually make you look bigger white makes you look bigger black actually makes you look slimmer so you should um, put that into consideration and also when you're choosing your styles um, sometimes you allow your designer to um, choose your style for you um, because there are some styles you choose that will not really go well with your um, body, body size yeah. so you have to be careful when you're choosing your your styles okay yeah. okay all right it's fashion trend you know it is definitely we teach you we lecture you we enlighten you and that's what's up all right i've been talking to maureen chima the ceo more looks in abuja yeah you heard me abuja obviously we are in abuja and i'm so 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 excited knowing that a lot of people love what we do and a lot of people want to be a part of it okay that's why we're here like i always say who knows i might just be in your neighborhood next time all right okay we'll take this little break and we'll be right back to talk more and get to know more from her all right stick around i'll be right back Nigeria, Venice City, God bless everybody. My name is MC, a dope king, comedian of my sweat and my hustle. And right now, you're watching Fashion Trend. Welcome back here. Yes, 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 the show is still on, trust me. And we're talking to Maureen Chima. I think promoting more of African fashion should be the key right now, mm -hmm. as far as fashion is concerned. What do you think? Yeah, we're Nigerian, so we should be able to promote our culture, our prints, and everything that we do. So, even if you're a jean person, you can you can mix it up with an Ankara blouse or an Ankara blazer. You know, I love jean as well. I love being free. I don't like really tight clothes and all that. So, I love to mix and come out really nice. Like what you're putting on right now. Oh, this is an. This is an Ankara print actually okay. and this is chiffon and this is silk so I just put it together I can stand up if you want okay, yeah. I just put it together and made a really nice jumpsuit okay. and a little detail of black crepe that's all okay yeah. just very simple yeah really simple but nice okay okay your customers now let's talk about your customers what are their love are their love for African prints or are their love for what you tell them you want for them? How is it like? Um, do you decide for them or do they bring their designs to you? Well, I have different kind of clients. Some will walk in here and they're just stuck on what they want. Mm -hmm. but sometimes if what they want is really not going to be good for them because at the end of the day it's going to be what I made for them. Mm -hmm. So I'll just try to advise them to do otherwise. Some of them will take it and even the ones that don't take it I try to recreate that style mm. and make it into something that will suit them well then they have some clients that will just walk in here and all they just believe in you and whatever you say they, in fact whatever you're wearing they want it as well so you can make anything out of it you can make jumpsuits you can make trousers palazzo you can make skirts you can make blouses you know you can make dress long, long and short dresses and yeah I think chiffon is really going places and now we decided because we don't just want to make it just all chiffon and stuff so we just put a little touch of Ankara yeah, chiffon is actually going places but yeah Ankara mixed with chiffon love perfect <laughs> perfect match <laughs> okay how would you describe the Nigerian um, fashion scene? Nigerian fashion world yeah <laughs> it's it's going to places that we we, we we didn't imagine it to be. Yeah. Right? You know, you see, 
everybody is a creative that's all I have to say mm. you know you see um, our Nigerian artists what if put on? Yeah, yes. Yes. you know they, they come out with all sort of design. In fact, some of, some of their designs actually inspire me because I'm like, okay, I can actually do that. You know? <laughs> I could put this I and this together. Yeah. So yeah, so it, it, it's really going places, and I I know one day. Well, people say uh, uh, buy Nigerian and grow the naira. You know that slogan, but I say. You wear Nigeria, yeah, baby, and you grow your naira. Not so. That's what I think <laughs> because if if you don't even represent what you're saying, then hello, who's gonna listen to you? Yeah. So yeah, I think that the fashion world is 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 really going places. Everybody is a fashion designer, as mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned. As far as you can sleep and wake up and think of, okay, let me put on this t-shirt and this gym. Mm -hmm. You're actually a designer. You can actually sit down and actually design something you can wear. Ankara, then the middle will be the black. Here and here will be the Ankara. You understand? So at the end of the day, then this side will be the Ankara. Here is black. Then for the back here, you know that falling, that train, the train. So we put train at the back. Black. So that's for this fabric. You know, you have you still have that first fabric remaining. There, Abby. Okay, fine. So that's what you do for this one. Do it for um this I did. Oh my god, I don't have any makeup on. Oh, come on. <laughs> you, don't, you don't really need makeup, okay? okay. We're well, here actually, you okay. know, interviewing um, Molo, okay. Abuja. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to know, what's your take on her design? So this is the like, Mari is like the best singer I've had. And it's so unfortunate that I just met her lately and all she has done for my clothes has been incredible. My wedding dress. My reception dress. You know, people have this notion that you have to travel abroad, yeah. get one fashion designer from US, South Africa, Dubai. But I met Maureen through a friend. Okay, actually, I went for my friend's wedding. I saw her dress. I loved it, and she introduced me to Maureen. And Maureen, you need to see my reception dress. Oh you'll be jealous. God. Seriously? Yes, you'll be oh, jealous. I'm jealous. You want to get married tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's nice. So, um, yeah. Mixing of um, Nigerian fabric yeah. and all that. Yeah. You love her work. Yeah, and most especially, I think I even like her English. I don't know how she turns this fabric, especially this chiffon and material, into something Western, like short, you know, flay gowns and flay trousers. It's like, if you come to her shop, what she has made already is like, she made it for you, even without taking your measurements. I'm so, so impressed. I'm so young, like, and she has accomplished so much. So I'm much. serious. Like I envy her. Okay, so people <laughs> are watching right now. Just Oops. tell them, hey, come over tomorrow. Um, all I have to say is that if Maureen is not swinging your foot, you're not wearing any dress. Wow. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you need to hook up with more looks and let her make you a dress. So then when you go outside, and people envy because anywhere I go to, everybody like, wow, wow, wow. So I think you need that wow factor. This is a studded lace, right? I came up with this design because she came and she said she wanted something really turning and something out of this world. So this is my own definition of out of the world. I made the peplum because 
she has this um, waistline and her waistline is really really full so I put the peplum to create an illumination of her hip an illusion of her hip sorry so yeah I can name this cloth Belle so this is a, an 8 pieces flare dress we need to make it really full to make her look really elegant create the shape here paint on a bit and we gave her this is a train but this train is not really really long but this is a train it comes all the way down there and it gives her this shape at the back like a fish like a goddess actually thank you very much darling oh, thank, thank you so you so much, much. Anytime. thank you very much We've been talking to Maureen Chima, beautiful designer in Abuja. Trust me, we are going to be at your doorstep next week. You might not know where I'll be. I might be in Nasarawa or Bainway or Gombe. Anyways, whatever be the case, fashion trend is fashion trend and we're putting your interest at heart. All right, Daryl, let me ask you this <coughs> question. And it's very, very dicey because a lot of people actually should know the truth about it is it nice following fashion trends like clothes that keep coming out is it nice to always buy them all the time yeah well for me um even if you get um a trend i think you should be able to recreate something out of it for example you want to put on the cold shoulder and you buy a top from the market cold shoulder blouse so you can ask actually just maybe change something it shouldn't just be just exactly how you saw it that's a, a um, someone that created it right mm -hmm. and you are here you're a designer as well like i said before um everybody is a creative mm -hmm. so you can as well create your own style mm -hmm. like rebranding yeah mm. you, you got it you just hit the nail on the head uh -huh. rebranding <laughs> rebrand yourself so yeah so you just do that so getting fashion trends all the time trendy clothes all the time yeah. you know I, it might make your wardrobe look so exhausting yeah because once that style goes out of fashion then yeah. you just push it aside and you want, and another, you want another one and you want another one why don't you just create something that you can wear even when there's that that trend is not there mm. as long as you're the cre you're the one that created it you mm. can always wear it all right last question okay before i let you off <laughs> because i don't even want you to let you go right now <laughs> what is your advice because a lot of people watching on social media and you know on our go tv star times and they might like oh i think i i, I think i have a flair for fashion i think i want to be a fashion designer i think i love pieces of clothes putting one and two together mm -hmm. so what advice would you give to young upcoming you know fashion designers first of all you shouldn't be afraid of anything you shouldn't be afraid if you do this sleeve if it will come up nice um, being a designer you shouldn't fear you know because trust me you make mistake to make it better there's always mistake you always get it wrong to get it right so being an upcoming designer I would advise you try a lot of things and don't be afraid don't um, you can never get it perfect there's no perfect tailor you know there's no perfect designer you can only try to make it better than you did the last time so yeah that's one then two you have to have a lot of patience you know if you want to if you want it to be like a business for you you really have to have a lot of patience with people and you have to be understanding <laughs> Okay, people, I hope you had fun watching the show and I hope you enjoyed our little chat with Maureen Chima CEO, More Looks Abuja. Don't worry, next week I 
promise you I'm gonna be at your neighborhood okay we are gonna have um, more interesting things to actually talk about all right okay keep your messages coming in and don't forget to like me on Facebook all right I gotta go right now I'm your girl a boogie your fashionista till I see you next week I love you bye